So who's and whom is actually a question that I had personally from myself and from the world as well. Uh, when Nantara, uh, the director of Photo Kathmandu, um, you know, when we spoke about curating something for the current edition of the festival, uh, what I actually, what I was reminded of when we were talking about um, ideas of gender and power is uh, the physicality of the body, which is the most immediate uh, kind of um, manner in which one can see power plays as well. And for me, I think what I thought about was that if you are actually looking at the body and the body is considered as kind of like empty land, like a territory, um, it ends up being colonized and it ends up being uh, taken over by different uh, powers of social constructs. And these social constructs are based on how we appear, uh, how our physical anatomies are, how what the colour of our skin might be, um, what the very pragmatic purposes of our physical bodies might be and uh, how, because that is such an intimate aspect of your identity, it is how you exist in this world and if one can make you fear these aspects of your own self, it is the strongest sense of power that one can claim over you. So if it is the fact that you have to be a certain way because you're a woman or a man um, and therefore there is no space for being anything beyond a woman and a man or it is about the baggage of being a certain uh, person purely by the colour of your skin or if it is about the discrimination about just wanting to own uh, an aspect of your own being. Uh, you know, one of the bigger issues that I have with how we look at male, female or even transgender is that the feminine has to be the female and the masculine has to be the male and, and I've, I mean I feel that if we look at it in that prism uh, we're almost initiating a conflict within ourselves because I don't think one is entirely feminine or entirely masculine and if you ask anyone to exist only as half of who they are uh, they won't know what to do with themselves after a while and this will then get manifested in, in anger, in, uh, in depression, in uh, just not being accepted, just constantly being told that you're not enough. And um, so th the 11 artists who are in the exhibition uh, also have similar ideas um, in the way that they look at the body and I think that's where we all kind of came together more than me curating it. I think it's a very um, intimate conversation between all of us and me probably just being a witness to that conversation with the works around. You know, when we, when we talk about these ideas, I think one, uh, one of the works that really comes to my mind is um, an, uh, a photographer based out of New York and her name is uh, Lisa Rivera. And uh, Lisa's work is, is t it's titled Beautiful Boy. And she met a friend many years ago somewhere in Brooklyn who told her about how he used to dress up as a woman when he was in college and he actually felt most himself when he was in that form. But as he grew up and he had to get friends and he had to maintain relationships and get work and uh, just be an adult, he had to let go of his identity because he wasn't accepted in that form. And uh, so that's where the conversation began from there for her and she said that let's do this, you, you can be the characters you want to be and we can uh, imagine the worlds that you want to be in and let me photograph that for you. And in, what, in that process of witnessing who he was, she fell in love with him and I find that so magical, you know, it, it, it almost gives me goosebumps to think about it. Kathmandu, Kathmandu, Kathmandu.